Hello everyone. Uh, let's take one more example related to the DFA. Let's say that we have a language L1 wherein the string is starting with A and ending with B. Now the alphabet set is AB and uh, the smallest language, smallest string that will be AB. So AAB will also be accepted and then ABB will also be accepted. We have made the uh, automata for this earlier also, but there is a specific purpose for taking this again to in this lecture. So W starts with A and ends with B. Now, if I uh, try to draw the DFA for this, so it should look like that we have a Q0 state and uh, with A, I should move to Q1 state. And with B, I should move to Q2 state, which is the final state. If I get a B here at the Q2 state, I should remain at the Q2 state. If I get an A, it is quite possible that I get B again later. If I get A at Q1 state, it means it is like A, A, B. So that is also acceptable. So I should remain at the Q1 state. But if my string starts with B, definitely my string will not be accepted. So I will move to the dead state. And at the dead state, if I get A, B, I should remain at the dead state itself. Now let's say we have another language L2 that says that the string starts with B and ends with A. Now for this, it will be very much similar to what we have made here. So let's say, Let's say we have some Q4 state and uh, at the Q4 state, if I get an B, I should move ahead because the smallest string that will be accepted here will be BA. So with the BA, you should reach to the final state. So this is Q5 and let's say this is Q6. So if you get another A in the final state, you should remain in the final state only. If you get a B, obviously this will not be accepted. So you move to Q5 states. Aisa ho sakta hai ki iske baad fir se A a jaye. Similarly, if after getting the first B, if I get another B, I should remain at the Q1 state only. It is like B, B, B and then A. So this string will be accepted. I will reach to the final state. And with B, I will remain at the Q1 state. So the first B moves us to Q1. The second B also moves us to Q1. The third B also moves us to Q1. But the fourth A symbol is A that will, uh, not a Q1, but Q5, sorry. And with the, the A, I will move to the Q6 state, which is the final state. Now, if I get a start, uh, get A in the starting itself, so that will not be acceptable. I will move to Let's say the Q, Q7 state, which is the dead state. And in the dead state, if I get A and B, I should remain in the dead state itself. So this is the automata for uh, the strings, which is starting with B and ending with A. Now let's say if I have the L3 language, which says that my W either starts with A or and, uh, starts with A and ends with B, or w, uh, let's, let's write it like this, W, starts and ends with a different symbol. So meaning of the language L2 is that if it starts with A, it should end with B. And if it starts with B, it should end with A. So isn't it like L3 is either L1 or L2? Or I can say that L3 is L1 union L2. So if L1 is the regular language and L2 is the regular language, I can make the automata for L1 union also, L1, L1 union L2 also. Let's see how is it possible. And we will draw the conclusion after designing the DFA for this. So let's say that I am starting at the Q0 state. On A, I am going to Q1. 
So this is the DFA for the L1. On B, I move to Q2, which is the final state. With B, I remain at Q2. With A in Q1, I remain at Q1. If I get an A at Q2, I will move to the Q1 state. So I am skipping this part because L3 language is a language hai, jo keh hai ki it should start and end with a different symbol. So if I get a B, I will move in the next direction. So I will design a diagram like this or the DFA like this. So if I get a B, I will move to the Q5 state. So this, this part. So I have drawn it horizontally, I will, I'm drawing it vertically. So the meaning is same. If I get A, I will move to, let's say, Q6 state. And this is the final state. If I get another A, I will stay at the Q6 state only. If I get a B, I will move to Q5 state. If I get another B in Q5 state, I will remain in the Q5 state only. So now what you see that this is the automata for language L3. And this language L3 is the union of language L1 and L2. Hence, we have designed the DFA for this, which is also the union. It means if L1 is regular and L2 is regular, L3 will also be regular. It means there is a statement that is being verified here that class of regular languages are closed under union. So what we have seen earlier in the previous lectures that the class of la regular languages are closed under concatenation and the class of regular languages is closed under the uh, complementation and the class of regular languages are closed under the union also that we have seen in this lecture. So we will once again see the new concepts related to the DFA in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching.